Hello and good morning, everybody. My name is Nick, and this is Logical Cog's Let's Play series. Today, we will be trying out the game Gone Home. Now, I really don't have any clue what this game is. I forgot that I actually bought the game a while back, and just going through my library, I just noticed, like, hey, I have to play this game. That's a little weird. Well, no time like the present to play the game, so... I don't really know too much about it, other than what the store page said. That it's... The game is about you, your character, is coming home after being away for quite a long time, but you come to a very empty house. No one's there. It's just you. It, it's really odd, because you were, were expecting, you know, a loving family and everything to, to greet you as you come home, but no one's home. And that's pretty mysterious. And one that I want to explore a little bit more. So... Without further ado, let's jump right in. New game. Use the arrow keys and look around using the mouse. All right. Arrow keys, look, walk, and mouse to look. Good enough for me. Loading. Ah, I like that little chalk drawing tape there. Kind of f f feeds my graphic designer wants and needs. From the Fulbright Company. Ah, another company that uses a light bulb. Hi, Mom. Uh, Ooh, so I got story. my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really, title, seriously, title. you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Alright, so we are, we are some gal who, yeah, is just coming home from a, from a trip overseas around midnight. That seems simple enough. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Why would there be, right? <laughs> All right, June 7th, 1995, 115 AM. Well, in 1995, I was five years old. I don't know what else to say about that. Okay, where, whoa, where am I? Oh, that's there at the ceiling, okay. All right, so where are we? So there's the outside. Huh, interesting. And kind of a... Oh, okay, okay, we're on the front porch. All right. Kind of a weird enclosed front porch, though. You don't really see much of these. I, I'm guessing it's for a design mechanic to kind of keep you, you know, locked in the house. But, I mean, like, I've seen this kind of thing before where, yeah, you have an enclosed front porch space and then the real front door there. But if there's a bit more close to reality... This would just be an open area with a nice and close front porch. But I'm reading way into much into my architectural habits, whatever. All right, so my name is Caitlin Greenbrier. Destination to Portland. Okay, so we are in Portland. Cool. Well, I guess I should figure that out, that out given the pine trees and the constant torrential downpour of rain. The kind that I've definitely been caught in many times in Portland. All right. Yeah, June 6, 1995. Okay. Um, can I interact with anything? I, I can zoom in. Cool. There's my bag. Whoa. Okay, I need to turn down the sensitivity. Uh, controls. Mouse. Turn this down, please. All right. Sticky targeting. Mouse acceleration. Okay, back. Back. All right, look closer. Right mouse, left... Crotch is CR control. One or I map and journal. So inventory. We got a passport. Oh, that's what I look like. All right. Boarding pass. Cool. AMS. So got a map. So far we just have the front porch and journals. Nothing. Okay. So we can look closer. We can go up and down. I shall grab this cup. Right mouse, press right or left shift to examine object. Yep, that is a cup. Oh, I can throw the cup too. Not sure what to do with it though. I can put it there. I can turn on the lamp. Ooh, open door. Why, it appears to be a Christmas duck. And some other Christmas decorations. Oh, there's a key there. Get out of here. Take the house key. Huh. What a cle little clever little place to put a key. Under a duck. 
Oh, we have a note. All right. Katie, I'm so I'm sorry. I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want my, anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. From Sam. So, it sounds like Sam is Katie's brother. Now, where does Sam go? Where is he? Why is he leaving? Sam, you're supposed to be here to, you know, to greet me. I, I don't appreciate this. You selfish son of a bitch. Alright, um... Okay, it's dark inside. Well... I guess there's nothing else to do out here other than to go inside. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, flickering lights. Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. Well, there's some other lights turned on. I can turn the lamp off or on. I'll keep it on for now. There's there's no reason to keep turn it off. Now, like a responsible person, though, I'm going to shut the front door. Oh, I can't lock it. Dang it. I can grab a tissue box. Okay, I don't see anything special about it other than a barcode. Turn this on so we can actually see. Woo! Huh. That's that's some lightning there. So what do we have? Uh, well, it looks like a little business card, some notes, some receipts. Uh, nothing really else. Um, open drawer. Oh, uh, some color swaps, not our business cards, ruler. Ooh. Directions to work from new house left on grab tree right in, on a bachelor ballhorn i think that's ballhorn except on 47 north right on 2202 east entrance on the right past Wade road travel time one hour ten wow that is a long ass commute just to go to work Ugh. i cannot do that <laughs> all right um okay anything down here um, nope. Last drawer. Nothing that I can see. Okay. Away you go. Alright. Anything behind the plants? Nope. Nope. Okay. So yeah, it looks like the people have recently moved in here. Read invoice. So yeah, it looks like we just recently moved to the new house. That's pretty cool. Harper Grove... Harper Drive? Territ see, kitchen... To the box. Okay, so this is just delivery fees, grand balance. Ooh, that's a hefty moving fee. Jeez. Insurance, two percent to cover, total loss. Ugh. Okay. Dear Katie. Ooh, journal. So journal. Much has changed, even just since you've been away. Oh, Sam's a girl. My bad. Moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Gallivanting. Just like I was talking to you. Well, okay, I guess that's it then. New house, added to the back. All right, so, yeah, the family recently moved here, it sounds like. I can close the door. I need my privacy when I'm in the bathroom. So the family they apparently recently moved to this house. Looks like it's covered by like a rustic. Jeez, that lightning. God. Yeah, we have a rustic house. Um, yeah. I mean, it just sounds like Sam just has the, you know, the average kind of moving blues, I like to call it. When it comes to moving, you know, you're unsure about yourself, things are changing. That's the time where you reflect about a lot of stuff. <laughs> I can flush the toilet. Author magazine, Stephen King. Man, look at this. Get published. The secret. Blank page. How to top 20 top hours conquer it. Interesting. Well, I have toilet paper now. No, I don't. But wait, what kind of t toilet paper is this? <gasps> soft Plus! For the extra softness that you need for your derriere. <laughs> Four rolls. 200 now thicker. Amazing! In the sink you go. <laughs> I have soap. I... Well, I can interact with a lot of things. Not sure why, though. Or why would I? Radiator. Okay, got some towels. You go away. Nothing really interesting there. What else do we have? 
Alright, we have band-aids, quick fix, cleansing powder, soap, interesting. Ah, nothing really out of the ordinary. Alright. Let's see what's inside here. Ah, oh, we have a pencil. Eh, not really important. Eh. I'm gonna throw all my stuff away. Ooh, itinerary. So was this my travel plan? K's departure. All right, so it looks like we start from Cincinnati. Did we? Where, where the hell was I going? Okay, so it looks like I've been to Seattle. San Are these all the places I went to? Gee, or is that just in Amsterdam? I went to Amsterdam. It looks like okay. So I went to Amsterdam. Oh god, I just I must have gotten high like crazy. Jeez. Knowing the only reason why anyone would go to Amsterdam from the United States in this particular year. I'm guessing it's for the extra activities that they have abound. You know, of the plant-like variety. <laughs> boon country. Yeah, this is definitely what I would call the boons. Or my childhood growing up. I mean, I, I was definitely a boons kid. Definitely out in the woods. My backyard was literally a forest, which I loved. We had lots of wildlife coming to the back forest. Mountain lions and deer. Ah, good times. Read note. It's from Sam. Daniel, the old neighborhood chalk called. From the old neighborhood. Oh, he wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is, to is a total weirdo. Oh, man. Poor Dan. He... <laughs> uh, the only reason I ever... Uh, hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little To be fair there were a couple of kids that I hung out with because they had X or Y console I mean the, the friendship definitely fostered after, after that, but that was the primary reason I mean they had the Sega I had the N64. I, I mean it, it was a mutual um, Benefit of video gaming. Ooh, we have three messages. Wait, is this me? Sam. Hello? Oh, this must be me trying to call Sam. Sam! But Sam has already left. Huh. Message two. Wait. Sam, where are you? Why am I sad? Really? I need to talk to you. Ugh, oh, something bad must have happened to me during my travels. Please be there. Oh god, I'm a wreck right now. This is terrible! And now suddenly I'm happy. Huh. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle. A little weird. So, like, really so this is the family portrait, eh? Okay, so Alright, so I'm guessing that's mom. Wait, okay. So mom, dad. That must be me in the background there with Sam. I'm guessing it's the younger one right there. Okay. Huh, so it sounds like I might have had a mental breakdown of sorts, and Sam already left the house? That's my guess. Ooh, dark. Man, look at these old ass switches. I mean, these are push knob switches, jeez. Press 2 or N to check your location in the house. Alright, sure, why not? We had the foyer, that was the bathroom there. The side hallway. Ooh, closet. Full string. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have boxes, we have a backpack. We have more notes. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School. Shh, shh. Is that radio playing? TV? It wasn't there before. Might be in another room. I'll have to check later. Please be sure to follow. Okay, a sturdy folder with pockets. Each one line notebook. Prepare. Blah, 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 nutritious lunch, or two fifty dollars for lunch. I wish those hot lunches were still two dollars and fifty cents. I remember having to doing that back in my old uh, middle school, high school and stuff, and my god, they were not two dollars and fifty cents. Those things were expensive. Please remember to get plenty of sleep before, okay, 8 a.m. Okay, interesting. Oh my god, Ooh. you are so journal. lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, uh, introducing damage. myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. 
All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. Yeah. They just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Hmm. Psycho House. All oh, right, so this house is definitely has a history to it. My guess is possibly something to do with uh, Oscar Mason here. It's my guess. What do you have here? Now, DeSoto. I don't think that's me. This has to be probably the previous owner. Also, she has pink hair for the military. Huh. Man. Oscar. Okay, so I don't know who that is. Huh. I'm getting some new people here. Wait, no, no, no. I'm not done. Gotta make sure I got everything. Man. Okay. And last but not least, the, ooh, the postcard from Paris. Okay, so I did go to a lot of places. Hi, Mom, Dad, Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit de one. I cannot speak French. If this was German, that would be a much different story. Le Petit de one and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back, blah, 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 blah. From Shakespeare Book Company, since you favorite sister, love you all. Arbor Hill, weird. One Arbor Hill. Me. Okay, you go down there. Nothing down here. All right. So we're gonna walk this way. Oh, there's TV back there. All right. So this is looking like office. Ooh, Dad's office. All right, Dad. What have, what books do you have in here? Any secret passageways? Come on, there's gotta be a secret passageway. That book's. Come on. Damn, there's nothing. I'm disappointed. Ooh, what is this book? Benjamin Alman, Killing of JFK. A theory. You've seen the movie. Discover the truth. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. Eh. I'm bored now. Sharpie, Sharpie. Oh, highlighter. My bad. Man. Turn off lamp. Turn off lamp. I do like these lamps. My dad has a lamp like this. I wonder if all dads have a lamp. I wonder if there's a requirement. Once you become a dad, you gotta get an office with a lamp like that. Oh god, I need to start planning to get an office lamp. Well, no, I don't. I'm not even a dad yet. Or close to it, so... Probably don't... Yeah, but whatever. Trash. John Rose opened his eyes and saw the... It was like dad's an author, but... He didn't have a really good idea. Yeah, well. What's this? What's this? It's a questionable item. Um, it's it's a piece of wood. Yeah. Oh, it's a false bottom. Okay. Hmm. Are we? What do we have here? Oh God! It's dear Terence. I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are now newly married to a wonderful young woman. I have had more than a little time to consider my path. Huh, you are... Ooh, there's something missing here. Oscar... Oh, it's a letter from Oscar... Okay, so he's a friend of... of my father. Huh. Interesting. You're always welcome, Aunt. And this is his house. Interesting. Interesting. This is an old letter, too. Huh. Three ring binder. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting inside of it. Okay, go away. You, go away. Okay, so this is his house indeed. You can do better. What if, what if JFK wasn't JFK? What's going on with this dad? Huh, he is a conspiracy theorist of sorts, it looks like. Meh. Nothing down there. Early back to basics sent book and again Chinese Lebanese. What is going on with with the dad here? Pioneer CLD combination laser is compact display. MSRC. Ooh, one thousand dollars. 
back with double sided play headphone out display. Uh, they say that Jack of all trades is master of none. I have to disagree. Master is not a question of specialist, but seriousness of purpose and dedication to credit. If you happen to be in the market for a combination in LDCD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems. Huh, it's like you're writing a paper for a product? Who knows? I think my grandma used to have one of these typewriters. Anyways, um, yeah, so far, we're discovering some interesting things about this place. Um, like, yeah, this used to be... Let's turn the fan on. Get some cool air in here. Uh, yeah, that, that Oscar fellow used to own this house. He died. This is considered a crazy man's house. He used to be friends with my dad, but everyone's gone. Santa's disappeared. There's a lot of stuff unfolding right now. Electrical inspection. Oh, this was I was concerned about with it being really old. Wiring house is technically up to safety and, and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added to structure over the last 100 years. God damn, this house is old. It's frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frame disrupts... Uh, circuits wide directly behind the surface. Properly rework highly destructive to walls, floor, and fix after discussion. No current safety concerns, issues with not. Okay, well, I mean, that's just kind of, uh. I guess it's just kind of natural with a house this old. Electricity wires do get old. I mean, it does get a pain in the ass to replace them, especially how they're placed in the walls. I mean,. I mean, if this blinking is just happening in only certain places, like lights on and off, I mean, that's one thing. I mean, if you have new wires added in for, like, uh, certain outlets, like for TVs and internet and stuff, it's not really a big issue. But eventually, those eventually those wires are going to become, become completely useless. They're going to have to do complete rewiring. At that point, you have to wonder. Then you're going to have to pay a lot of money to uh, redo the the go into the walls and replacement stuff. And it does become the issue of, do you just tear down the house or not? But let's get way off topic from the game. <laughs> okay, um, newspaper, can't look at it. Papers, can't look at them. Ooh, open drawer. Eh, nothing over there. I do not know the combination. I will have to find it. Now... So that is a good question. Where would I find the combination at? It's four... Four digits. Four digits. 1972, maybe? I'm just guessing right now. 1970... Damn. Tell me I'll get lucky. Um, maybe there's only a number here now? I think I can see there. Maybe it's on the his wall here. 1963. It's possibly another one. Motorcade. Magic bullet theory. I know the magic bullet theory. It's those damn bullets. 1963. Damn. Now where else could his code be? Policy binder number... I mean, I just don't want to keep using random numbers all over the place. 1995. Perhaps it's on this book here. God damn that lightning! Nope! Alright, so we'll have to find out later. Ooh, that's a scary back room. I'm gonna check that out later. I want to finish exploring the hallway that we came down in. Ooh, couple paper come from here. Hey, are you, are you the now girl, the new girl Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm the back behind you. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could, friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, so no, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just who went psycho, or does? Oh, wow, that. Wow, that way to get weird right away, Tommy. Jesus Christ. Just just. Oh. Jeez, what? Uh, something's going on here. <laughs> so yeah, this house definitely has a dark history to it. Severe weather warning. You don't say! I would not have known there's a crazy weather going on out here. I mean, there was no indication of it. 
God damn, look at this old ass TV. These uh, box monstrosities. So I can. Actually, fizz right, ginger ale. Actually, first, really quick. You go there. I'll read it. What kind of ginger ale are you? Almonds. Serving size, six ounces, five. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, don't care anymore. There we go. Some videos. Dude, grab cassette. Yeah, it's a mixtape. Cool. Girl Scout. Role model. Yeah, sure, why not? It's that book that Dad wrote. Terrence Greenbar, The Accidental Savior? 1963, John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe it? Not just... Not just another James Bond. Huh. Well, it looks like Dad did write actually a good book. Okay. Good for him. And a letter. Terry, hey man, how have you been? I know you pu published all and everything, but now but my editor has too much re review work to go around and he's looking for another free lesson. Actually, I actually thought you, you were blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, do it. <laughs> all right, dad's getting work. Good for him. The Norman's train airplane moon. My God, look at all these recorded videos. <laughs> I mean, wow. What else we have here? Making friends. Sam thought this would help. Ooh, man. Sam was definitely having some problems. Now, what do we have in here? Looks like there used to be a DVD player here, but or, I mean, a v video player, but it's gone. Who would take a video player? Or it's just not unpacked yet. No, no, it definitely looks like it was there. Damn it, they are all the pizza! How dare they? Yeah. We can throw their coasters around in anger. Ooh, a button. Bratmobile. Ha ha ha. Go away. <laughs> That's a pillow for it. Hauntings and poultry guys. Well, that isn't a uh, foreshadowing what's gonna, gonna come. I don't know what is. El yeah, I am actually jamming after this song here. <laughs> okay, so it looks like Sam left really recently. Like, this is a goddamn pillow fort for Christ's sake. Only, only a child, and well, me, and others of our standing would be a uh, ooh X Files. But yeah, I was saying, God, what else is it? American Gothic Red Dwarf. Oh my God, I remember watching Red Dwarf, Mork and Mindy. Goddamn unsolved mysteries. Should boy meets world. Wow, I remember a lot of these. This is weird. I but I really remember Red Dwarf. I remember watching that. That comes to mind. Robocop, Attack of the Killer Tomato, Space Above. Huh. Memories. But yeah, Sam was here recently. She was here. Like, she left not long ago. Like, this is really a recent pillow fort. So like. So I must have just missed her right before she left. That's weird. Hi, Terry. Close is my Pioneer Seal unit remote cables. And she took the goddamn video player. It's a combi player with a see payback with a few just. Huh. But why? Oh, well, there's another closet. Ooh, another note. The heaven at the edge of the world. Samantha Gray too. Oh, it's a little. Captain Algria took off the ocean. It, w it went on forever, so it seems somebody would find the edge and, and get to the paradise here. There, she can't fire. Boom! It's a black pirate ship. She yelled, "Blah blah blah!" The blah, 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 deck of the black ship yelled, "World battle!" Kept going until the captain now the ship now west and towards sunset. Okay. Well. Interesting. Okay, can I just like switch this over? 
Okay, no, it's not gonna let me switch it. That's annoying. Oh well, I want to listen to Girl Scout, but whatever. Well, all the matches are gone, so I can't light a fire. Ah, oh, grab a candle. Man, man. Well, this room looks pretty much done, but I'm still no closer to figuring out why Sam left. I mean, I'm getting assumptions that school sucked and everyone just kept on calling her the girl in the psycho house. Bunch of coupons. I could save 25 cents. Awesome. Not anymore. Eraser, paper. Uh, United States Department of Agriculture. U.S. National Forest Manual. Okay, good enough. Nothing down there. Nothing interesting over here. Okay, so that just leads off to the hallway, but... I think I'm going to look in the library now in Dad's office and see if I can f maybe find the combination. Ooh, it's creepy in here. Ooh, nice. I do like this little office space. I wish I had something like this. I will, I will say about one thing about these old houses, they really had a lot of uh, space in these rooms and stuff. I mean, I mean, like, it's kind of needless for a generation of of our generation now, what well, given our access to computers and stuff like that. But it's nice to have the option where you can be like, I'm going to turn this room into whatever. Grab Dad's second book. The access to uh, Farai. Yeah. He's got a bunch of these books. Gosh, Dad. Whoa! Naughty, naughty Dad! Oh! Moscow by night, drugs pro in the Mafia, Japan's Bloody War on Do- Whoa, this is quite the gentleman's magazine. <laughs> I do like how it says, gosh, dad. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not descript- it's not doing like the regular descriptor, it's literally my character reacting. Fresh magazines, readers tell us about their worst moments. Huh. Oh, I see you, sneaky note. The accidental, the unreliable. The accidental profit, the accidental. Pro okay, just dad like think of title ideas. Now, I really hope they don't. They're really gonna think, come home and they're gonna look like look around the house and be like, "Why was our house ransacked?" And no, it's just me being a dick and not you know putting things back. A stranger under my roof. <laughs> I'm guessing this is dealing with you know teens. Understanding, understand teens, a teen you. Yeah, you know, us teens, just big pain in the asses. Well, not me anymore. I'm an adult. Oh, oh, there's the secret number 0451. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews of you, some, frankly, to becoming a worth for an instant. There's a word limit. It's your job, to say, not mine, to cut it back. Even though. The tangent non sequiturs from the usable copy with, without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Yondo want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations of your... If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. It's just cutting... I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of... Hacker would like take half your rage to write stuff I could actually use, but David's... A long time. He's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot. Ooh, not good. Look at all stuff and... Look start submitting reviews like that again then everybody will be okay so dad is having some issues writing book some recent stuff not good zero four five one okay let's see what's going on with dad and what secrets he's hiding on us in this crazy storm that's going on zero four five one zero four five one zero four five one what secrets are you hiding, Dad? You... All right, dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document. Ty... Ty has been filed at our office. Thank you for entrusting this important man, Jeffrey Wise, Wise attorneys at law. Ooh, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of value items, oh, is this will? I'm a lifelong resident of Boone County and I am unmarried and I have no trip. I declare that I have no outstanding debts and I hereby bequeath every item of value which I die as, uh, as well to, right, 
to my nephew Ter Okay, so Mason. Okay, this is Will because he died. Ter predeceased me then in such event to his, ch his children as ordered by H I subscribe the name 13th day of August Testament I, okay so that's his uh, original letter okay interesting so this is definitely his will and it this house was passed down to the family so he, he this Oscar definitely died but we don't know why and the thing is Right now, it's the main theory that's going on is the fact that he was a psycho. Because that's what everyone's been in school has been calling him, is a psycho. And yeah. So something about him being a psycho. What room is this? The music room. Jesus Christ, how many just random rooms are there? Especially considering the fact that there's a whole room just dedicated to music. Ooh, nice painting. But yeah, so... The uncle was psycho and got deceased, and it apparently it's a big enough event that the kids at the school were mentioning it. Oh, hello, Mr. Kitty Cat. I hear you back there. Read assignment. Reproductive system. Ugh. Sex ed. Blah, blah, blah. The early morning is a terror for this. That's VM blah. Right. Train her eyes start quickly across the crowd there. Her the smock over the wheezing. Blah, blah, blah. D me. Esther vows his vice, she said. So it sounds like this was a system worksheet. I'm right here looking at you. Assume once Huh. So it looks like Sam, rather rather writing a report, has instead written an interesting short story. That, I mean, I guess it sort of relates to the reproductive cycle, but not in the way the teacher wanted it. <laughs> well then. World history, more. Josh, goddamn, lost so everywhere. And that storm is shaking up the building. Okay, that's enough for you. <laughs> You're loud. Okay. Ooh, liquor, liquor, liquor. I can't drink it. But it's distilled in Ireland. It's Irish whiskey, man. I just, just let me drink it, please. Ah, uh, fine. Uh. God. Someone's been taking shots, though. What do we have here? It's too dark. Ah, vodka. Good old vodka. Triple distilled. Product, product of Russia. Cool. Go away now. <laughs> now waste some liquor. Good for me. Ah, what's this? Dad's book again. Anything interesting about this one? Nope. Another note, though. I would avoid that. Unfortunately, Mercury Books will unable to publish or follow up to. You know, despite the low sales of the Axon Saver, we went ahead with. Hopes of John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have, in fact, been lower than those of the first. So, shit, other series must end here. It's been a pleasure. Work. Yeah, okay, so Dad's book wasn't doing as good as I initially had thought. Ooh, so Dad's having troubles landing work and being an author. Don't know about Mom yet. Sam is a runaway teenager. Where's that? There it is. God damn, look how big these closets are. I, I, these rooms are huge. I wish. Like, bedrooms were... I wish I had a big bedrooms and stuff like this. I mean, there's a bar in here. My, for, for Christ's sakes. God damn, some of these old houses are just... Sprawls and mazes with lots of nooks and crannies and stuff like that. Holy crap, there's a lot of his books in here. And I mean... A lot of his books in here. Ugh. Dad definitely was not doing good. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Dan uh, Danny over. Oh, so Danny did come over to you. Miss having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood where, where Danny asked if he could lend Santa his Nintendo Street Fighting tape and Richard Dad needs to spend less time with the games anyway. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house. Okay, so Danny did come over. 
When you live in one place Ooh, your whole life, story, story, story. Your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. <laughs> and Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo game. <laughs> Maybe I'll give him a call. Now I know it's gonna sound that's a little rough to say to your neighbor, but I mean I guess growing up I had a default uh neighbor friend. I mean he lived up the street from me and yeah, I guess we did go over and play games with each other and stuff. He did move away, however. Like hope he's hope he's doing great. Like Ben and Ben, if you're out there and you remember me, Nick, that strange little kid down the street from you, hope you're doing good and having a good time. And hope I see you again someday. But yeah. I guess it's not too odd. Please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Okay, so she did take a lot of stuff. Like the video player! I wanted to watch movies! Curse you, Sam! Ooh, some dice. Alright. Come on! Snake eyes! Go away, lip bomb. I want my dice. Snake eyes! Damn it to five. Damn it to five. I'm guessing it's always going to be five at this point. Unless... Yeah, it's a two! Actually, I wonder if I could just... Okay, let's see if I put six on top like that. Okay, it's... It, these dice are... These dice are loaded. God. More coupons, more tissues... More highlighters... Ooh, checkbook. Blank checks, blank checks. I'm gonna wrap myself the biggest damn check ever. Hey, another note. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that'd be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive home to the blah blah park in Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. You. Ah, they're gonna play Street Fighter. Fun. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. <laughs> so after I was finished getting my Damn, arcade kit, buttons be different, yo. I followed them outside while they smoked. And Ooh. that was when she asked me if I was That's that psycho house girl. <laughs> but then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Huh. How oh, cool. So, Mom is a forest re senior conversationist in forest service. Cool. I always like forest service jobs. It's pretty fun. Oh, cool. They got some of the uh, Northwestern tribal designs for the f high school. Pretty neat. And being one who draws that stuff. So Ooh, what do we have here? Over the Alps, a novel traveling game for two to six players? No way! That's so interesting. Front hall. But yeah, what I was saying about the art, like, yeah, I, I draw that stuff from time to time. I'm doing something right now for a uh, project for a job. Oh, cool. It's Ah, oh, cool. So, nice well, Nice, cool skull. For thinking about Ooh, what's this? in Mexico. Because I, the Spanish papadis. Okay, I'm done with you. <gasps> no! I forgot one last thing to do with the skull. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well, Horatio. Okay, now I'm done. Number one. Number one in what? First place, dude. Regional track and field fields. Awesome. <laughs> Second place, Caitlin Green Bar, regional check. So that's my old one. Pick up one of my trophies. Okay, so I got silver and then gold here. Ah, not bad. Nice little balance. And more letters. Dear John, Dan, Dan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business spent sounds like a the adventure. Remember that little dorm room we shared freshman year? We were. I got that dream homes I blow. Okay, so I'm guessing this is Mom's old friend, Jan. Okay, but playing the good spit. Uh, right back soon. 
Old roommate. Okay, so old college roommate from mom. Cool, cool. Some more Boone County phone directories. God, how many of those do are around this house? Gee. I have no clue where that leads. Maybe the garage. Probably the garage. Who knows? All right. We're done with the bomb floor. Well, there, which means there's now the top floor to explore and to figure out what's in the basement. And so there's still more of this mystery to solve. And we'll do that in the next episode of Gone Home. So until then, I'll see you guys again when the gears start turning. Later. Oh, so many mysteries to solve, so many to solve.